Now, why low carb works until it doesn't? Now, let's be fair. Cutting carbs reduces glucose load. No question about that. That lowers your post meal spikes and can tame the appetite. That's great. But three traps that sabotage your long term success. And trap number one is carb swap. Two, saturated fats. So if your plate just becomes bacon, butter, coffee, and cheese, you can increase liver and muscle insulin resistance even as your meter looks flatter. Now, short-term optics, but long-term damage. Trap number two, fiber collapse. Ultra low carb often kills fiber and fiber is jet fuel for your gut microbiome that makes short chain fatty acids like butyrate that improve insulin sensitivity. So no fiber means worse insulin signaling, more hunger and more cravings. And trap number three, weight cycling and muscle loss. So crash low carb without resistance training plan, I'll tell you this, you will lose muscle. Less muscle, that means lower glucose disposal and higher insulin levels for the same foods, even for low carb. Then the weight creeps back in maybe in 6 to 12 months, usually as fat, not muscle. When you gain weight, you're gaining mostly fat. And when you're losing, you are losing a lot of muscle. Bottom line, carbs are one lever, not the lever. Remove the junk, yes. But unless you fix insulin signaling, muscle quality, sleep, and stress, you're rearranging deck chairs. That's all.